Welcome to another TOEFL listening practice video. In this video, you will listen to a lecture, answer some questions about it, review the correct answers and explanations. Don't forget to subscribe for more TOEFL listening practice. Today, we'll be looking into meteorology, the study of weather and how we predict it. Weather patterns are the regular conditions we see in the atmosphere in a certain area, influenced by temperature, humidity, wind, and air pressure. Let's delve into the components that shape weather patterns. Temperature variations and air pressure gradients play crucial roles in shaping weather patterns. Warmer air tends to rise, creating areas of low pressure, while cooler air sinks, creating areas of high pressure. The movement and interaction of these air masses are fundamental in driving weather changes. Humidity levels in the atmosphere determine the likelihood of precipitation, whether in the form of rain, snow, sleet, or hail. When high humidity combines with cooling temperatures, it can lead to condensation and subsequent precipitation events. This interplay is essential in understanding weather patterns and predicting precipitation. Global wind patterns influenced by the Earth's rotation and varying surface temperatures play a significant role in redistributing heat and moisture across the planet. Additionally, atmospheric circulation patterns, such as the jet stream and trade winds, are crucial in influencing weather systems and storm development. By studying these patterns, meteorologists can better predict and understand weather changes on a global scale. Now let's take a look at the tools and technologies used in weather prediction. Satellites provide valuable data on cloud cover, temperature gradients, and storm formations. This technology allows meteorologists to track weather systems in real time and forecast their movements, offering crucial insights into developing weather conditions. Weather radars, such as Doppler radars, are essential for detecting precipitation intensity, wind direction, and storm movement. The data collected from these radars enable meteorologists to issue timely warnings for severe weather events, such as thunderstorms, hurricanes, or tornadoes. This capability is vital for public safety and preparedness. Finally, computer models and forecasting techniques. Numerical weather prediction models utilize complex algorithms to simulate atmospheric conditions based on current data and historical trends. These models are instrumental in predicting future weather patterns, aiding in both short-term forecasts and long-range climate projections. Through these advanced techniques, meteorologists can provide more accurate and reliable weather predictions. Now let's see some of the challenges associated with weather prediction. Weather systems are inherently complex and influenced by numerous interacting variables. Small changes in initial conditions can lead to significant variations in predicted outcomes, which contributes to forecast uncertainty. This complexity makes it challenging to provide precise predictions. Local geography and land use patterns can create microclimates where weather conditions vary significantly over short distances. Predicting these localized weather phenomena requires fine-scale modeling and detailed observational data. This aspect highlights the need for advanced tools and technologies to capture the intricacies of local weather patterns. Climate change introduces additional difficulties to weather prediction. By altering long-term weather patterns and increasing the frequency of extreme weather events, understanding these trends is critical for adapting to future climate scenarios and improving the accuracy of weather predictions. Addressing these challenges is essential for the continued advancement of meteorological science. One, what is the primary focus of today's lecture on meteorology? Two, 
According to the lecture, what are the main components that shape weather patterns? Three, why are temperature variations and air pressure gradients crucial in shaping weather patterns, as explained in the lecture? Four, based on the lecture. What can you infer about the relationship between humidity levels and precipitation likelihood? Five. How does the lecturer organize the discussion on tools and technologies used in weather prediction? Six. How do temperature gradients influence the behavior of global wind patterns, as explained in the lecture? The lecture begins by stating, Today, we'll be looking into meteorology, the study of weather, and how we predict it. This clearly establishes that the primary focus is on the study of weather and methods of predicting it. The lecture states, Weather patterns are influenced by temperature, humidity, wind, and air pressure. This indicates that these factors are the main components shaping weather patterns. The lecture mentions, temperature variations and air pressure gradients play crucial roles in shaping weather patterns. Warmer air tends to rise, creating areas of low pressure, while cooler air sinks, creating areas of high pressure. The movement and interaction of these air masses are fundamental in driving weather changes. This shows that temperature variations and air pressure gradients directly influence the movement of air masses, which is crucial in shaping weather patterns. The lecture explains, humidity levels in the atmosphere determine the likelihood of precipitation, whether in the form of rain, snow, sleet, or hail. When high humidity combines with cooling temperatures, it can lead to condensation and subsequent precipitation events. This suggests that high humidity levels combined with specific conditions can lead to precipitation. The lecture organizes the discussion by introducing different technologies used in weather prediction. It states, now let's take a look at the tools and technologies used in weather prediction. Satellites provide valuable data, weather radars, such as Doppler radars, Finally, computer models and forecasting techniques. This categorization by types of technologies, satellites, radars, and computer models demonstrates how the lecturer organizes the discussion. The lecture states, global wind patterns influenced by the Earth's rotation and varying surface temperatures play a significant role in redistributing heat and moisture across the planet. By studying these patterns, meteorologists can better predict and understand weather changes on a global scale. Temperature gradients affect the movement and distribution of air masses, which in turn influence global wind patterns.